Travis Stowe. I'm a director of analytics here at UpNexus. I'm here to give you a breakdown of my optimized breakout session on advanced data analytics and log level data. Now, my team here at UpNexus is called the Client Insights Analytics Team. Uh, our team is focused on helping our most enterprise clients be successful using the data that's available to them through our platform. A big part of helping the biggest, most strategic clients we have be successful is helping them to use log level data. Um, and a lot of people come into working with log level data and are kind of intimidated by it. It's a big buzzword and uh, everybody seems to uh, have some level of intimidation over the data. Now moving it around can be kind of difficult, but once you get log level data into the right place, analysts should be very comfortable using the data. It's not that complicated to use. And so my optimize breakout session is really about trying to demystify using log level data. Uh, so the first part of my session is a breakdown of some code that shows that it's quite simple. It's actually the same stuff you do all the time. Using PySpark you can do some really amazing things using log level data. The second part of my breakout session is about uh, a variety of opportunities that you can use log level data for. I have a variety of suggestions of things that I think are really powerful opportunities for you as a client to uh, break down log level data and optimize and build models for your campaigns or um, publishers. The third part of my talk is a few analytical suggestions. Uh, I really can't help it, I'm a bit of an analytics nerd, so I had to include a few of my favorite suggestions for analytics teams. Uh, don't take these as rules, they're just some suggestions that I'm trying to provide to everybody uh, while I have you. Uh, and I'd like to share those with you now. So the first is uh, keep it simple. Smart guy. Um, despite the fact that my entire speech is about log level data, realistically about 90-95% of the analysis that you do doesn't really need log level data. So if I can convince you at all to use our aggregations, use the reporting that's in console to do most of the work, that's what I would hope I could do. The point is that a lot of people try to go after log level data because it's sexy. There's lots of like cool uh, connotations to having used log level data. But realistically, we, we've already aggregated most of the things you're going to need. So if at all possible, please try to stick with the aggregated data. All right, the second suggestion I have is don't fix what's already been fixed. Our data science organization works every day to try to make sure that we're taking care of as much of the optimization for you as possible. Our hope is that your line items and advertisers will work automatically when you use our platform. So we have a bunch of great algorithms that are talked about at other points in Optimize uh, that are really working hard to make sure that your, your program works. So my recommendation is as analytics teams, make sure that the algorithms and models that you're building were complementary to the um, algorithms that we're building. They, they aren't going to cause friction between the algorithms that we have embedded in our platform and that, that are there for you to use. The third analyst suggestion I have for you is action-oriented storytelling. Um, lots of analytics teams try to, try to get excited about building funny graphs that are cool that move around and are full of animations and oh it's so cool like we can build things where you can drag things around and it's so much fun. That's not the point. Like the point is to get in there and get some very specific numbers that are going to help people make actions. The goal is to make your advertisers better, so make sure that the analytics that you're doing is focused on actions. Um, I find that just a single number can often be a better graph than an entire moving D3 animated graphic. So um, these are my three main suggestions, uh, and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.